Hello, fellow heirs, and welcome back to Weekday Wind Down with the Word, where we are reading through the book of Leviticus. And today we will be reading the eighth chapter of Leviticus in the NLT version. So, without further delay, let's start reading. This chapter is all about the ordination of the priest. Then the Lord said to Moses, Bring Aaron and his sons along with their sacred garments, the anointed oil, the bull for the sin offerings, the two rams, and the basket of bread made without yeast, and call the entire community of Israel together at the entrance of the tabernacle. So Moses followed the Lord's instructions, and the whole community assembled at the tabernacle entrance. Moses announced to them, this is what the Lord has commanded us to do. Then he presented Aaron and his sons and washed them with water. He put the official tunic on Aaron and tied the sash around his waist. He dressed him in the robe, placed the ephod on him, and attached the ephod securely with a decorative sash. Then Moses placed the chest piece of Aaron and put the urim and the thummim inside it. He placed the turban on Aaron's head and attached the gold medallion, the badge of holiness, to the front of the turban, just as the Lord had commanded him. Then Moses took anointed oil and anointed the tabernacle and everything in it, making them holy. He sprinkled the oil on the altar seven times, anointed it and all its utensils, as well as the wash basin and its stands, making them holy. Then he poured some of the anointed oil on Aaron's head, anointing him and making him holy for his work. Next, Moses presented Aaron's sons. He clothed them in their tunics, tied their sashes around them, and put their special head covering on them, just as the Lord had commanded him. Then Moses presented the bull for the sin offering. Aaron and his sons laid their hands on the bull's head, and Moses slaughtered it. Moses took some of the blood, and with his finger he put it on four horns of the altar to purify it. Then Moses took all the fat around the internal organs, the long lobe of the liver, and the two kidneys, and the fat around them, and he burned it all on the altar. He took the rest of the bull, including its hide meat and dung, and burned it on a fire outside the camp, just as the Lord had commanded him. Then Moses presented the ram of the burnt offering. Aaron and his sons laid their hands on the ram's head, and Moses slaughtered it. Then Moses took the ram's blood and splattered it against the side of the altar. Then Moses took the ram's blood and splattered it against the side of the altar. Then he cut the ram into pieces, and he burned the head, some of its pieces, and the fat on the altar. After washing the internal organs and the legs with water, Moses burned the entire ram on the altar as a burnt offering. It was a pleasing aroma, a special gift presented to the Lord, just as the Lord had commanded him. Then Moses presented the other ram, which was a ram of ordination. Aaron and his son laid their hands on the ram's head, and Moses slaughtered it. Then Moses took some of the blood and applied it to the lobe of Aaron's right ear, the thumb of his right hand, and the big toe of his right foot. Next, Moses presented Aaron's sons and applied some of the blood to the lobe of their right ears, and the thumbs of their right hand, and the big toe of their right feet. He then splattered the rest of the blood against all sides of the altar. Next, Moses took the fat, including the fat of the broad tail, the fat around the internal organs, the long lobe of the liver, and the two kidneys, and the fat around them, along with the right thigh. On top of these, he placed a thin cake of bread made without yeast, a cake of bread mixed with olive oil, and a wafer spread with olive oil. All these were taken from the basket of bread made without yeast that was placed in the Lord's presence. He put all these in the hands of Aaron and his sons, 
and he lifted these gifts as a special offering to the Lord. Moses then took all the offerings back from them and burned them on the altar on top of the burnt offering. This was the ordination offering. It was a pleasing aroma, a special gift presented to the Lord. Then Moses took the bread and lifted it up as a special offering to the Lord. This was Moses' portion of the ram of ordination, just as the Lord had commanded him. Next, Moses took some of the anointed oil and some of the blood that was on the altar, and he sprinkled them on Aaron and his garments, and on his sons and their garments. In this way, he made Aaron and his sons and their garments holy. Then Moses said to Aaron and his sons, Boil the remnant meat of the offering at the tabernacle entrance, and eat it there along with the bread that is in the basket of offerings for the ordination, just as I commanded when I said, Aaron and his son will eat it. Any meat or bread that is left over must be then burnt up. You must not leave the tabernacle entrance for seven days, for that is when the ordination ceremony will be completed. Everything we have done today was commanded by the Lord in order to purify you, making you right with him. Now stay at the entrance of the tabernacle day and night for seven days and do everything the Lord requires. If you fail to do this, you will die, for this is what the Lord had commanded. So Aaron and his son did everything the Lord had commanded through Moses. And that concludes the reading of Leviticus 8 in the NLT version. So one of the things that have stood out to me in this chapter, and I noticed it in previous chapter, is this line, just as the Lord had commanded him. And so, um, you know, thinking about myself, I know that I don't always do as the Lord had commanded. And probably some of you don't always do as the Lord has commanded. And that's why God sent Jesus, because we don't always do what he has commanded. And so um, Jesus was that perfect sacrifice. But as I was reading, I just thought about praying because sometimes you do uh, think that you about praying about things when you read through a chapter. So I just wanted to pray a simple prayer for you and for myself. And um, I'll do that right now. Father God, I give you glory and honor and praise. We just thank you because you are the almighty God. You are the awesome God. You are our creator. Father God, you are our provider. You are everything. And without you, Father, we are nothing. But Father God, we thank you for Jesus Christ. We thank you for your Holy Spirit. And Father God, your word is so wonderful to us. We can learn and grow from it. And we just pray that we would help each other learn and grow. But Father God, in your word, it kept mentioning that Moses did as you commanded. So that is my prayer today, that we will all do as you commanded, that we will humble our hearts, we will submit our will unto you, and allow you to take total control of us, Father, and that we always make that choice to do as you commanded. In Jesus' holy name, I pray. Amen. Well, we pray. I'm sorry I kept saying I. I have to remember when I pray to say we, when I'm praying um, on this a weekday wind down with the word. But anyways, um, I'm going to leave it right here. Please make sure you share your thoughts in the comments below so we can strengthen one another and learn from one another and grow with one another. And as usual, I thank you once again for listening to Weekday Wind Down with the Word. And have a nice life in Jesus Christ. Bye.